Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Blessings to you and your family. In today's video, I am doing back to school shopping. I'm showing you what I got, showing you our classroom process, making that come to light, and um, showing you our uniforms. Yes, we use uniforms even though we homeschool. I find that this is very important. It keeps the kids structured and know that we're a nonsense free family. This means school, school means business. Here's baby girl's uniform. It's just like a regular jumper. It's beige or tan. It can go with anything. She has a white shirt. She has a cute little kilt. I love the pink and the blue. And this was $12.98. And um, the white shirt was, let's see, da -da -da -da, $8.48. And then um, we have kilt we also mix this up with a, a polo shirt dark blue light blue i'm going to pick up some more for her but this is what we start off with we have her cute little pink and blue sneakers so adorable i like how everything comes together she looks super cute and she loved it twirl baby twirl we also stopped at the nike outlet and picked her up another pair of sneakers Okay, so here is our daily agenda. We're going to start off with Walmart. So this is in my classroom now. I just put all of the times in the classes. And this is our bulletin board um, kit. We have our calendar. We have the birthdays um, and everything. So anything that's important goes on the calendar and, you know, helps them know the dates and everything in here. We have this cute little... Um, binder it's glittery pink cute I picked up paper um, I picked up this little kit thing I guess it's like a container yeah it's a container and it has little compartments in the top so I put all of my like homeschooling utensils that I need like scissors markers pens post-its whatever I need for the classroom so that it stays in one space since I don't have a drawer or anything down there and then here is everything else that we got we got some erasers some stickers um we got some pencils with the glitter um and then we have some cute little pastel pencils as i like those for her for the baby girl and we have crayons and um some uh colored pencils and these highlighters are su just super adorable and um yeah so that's the little School supplies haul for Walmart. Moving on to the Dollar Tree. Flashcards, must have. Addition, subtraction, phonics, learning, you know, all your sounds and the little baskets that I just did and I didn't do that quick enough. The candy jars that I am going to use my Cricut to label them. I have one for the kids, treats, and one for the teacher. And these are our little drawing pads. You can't beat that. Doodle pads, sketchbooks. From the Dollar Tree and um yeah it was only a dollar well a dollar 25 now but super cute because they can use that for art or when they just want to doodle and draw while they're waiting for the next lesson to begin and here a little 10 pencil case for all the little pencils that can go in her little crate here's some books that I just picked up I thought they were cute I like the saying so I just picked up you know you can't have enough notebooks right so and I'm a writer I love to write like actually write in a book this little panda book spiral notebook little happy face the cloud notebook matching cloud um, binder and then we have um, our little books that we got from the Dallas store so I like these um, just little activities she can work on she pretty much knows this stuff but it's like a little it's a review you know when she's again waiting for a lesson to begin little notepad with your morning afternoon and night you can you know write down what you need to do glue sticks must have um a little notepad never can have enough a little notebook for her that's her homework book and um i like it it's really cute from the dollar tree and you know it shifts the picture shift and that's pretty cool 
but she really liked that. She actually picked that out. And then we have white out, a must. We have our eyes, little, you know, googly eyes for our crafts, pink scissors, thought they were cute, picked them up. And um, index cards, we have clipboards for them to be able to write. We have the construction paper. Um, and then what else do we have? We have the dividers that we got and we have file folders, always need it. And then we have these cute little boxes. So you, you, they're collapsible. You open them up and you can put your file folders or whatever in there. And here's the rest of the stuff. Clips, highlighters, um, dry erase markers, markers. Um, and this is the five and below. So this little um, tabletop easel that's perfect for them to figure out the problems if I'm writing something on the board and they're copying it and they can just erase it and figure out the problems you know I thought that was pretty cool to have she picked up some perfume from five and below with the little lip gloss she actually wanted that so I said go ahead and get it you could smell have a new fragrance for school so she was pretty excited about that And now we have another little notebook with the My Little Ponies and they're separated by little tabs. There's a pony for each tab, a different one. And um, yeah, so that's good. That's in her crate, she has that. I don't know all the names of the little ponies or anything. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you don't know the ponies? Let me show you. It's so funny to get it. So this is Pip. Pip. Sunny Star Scout. Zip. It's zip. And that's Izzy. And that is Share Pip. Pip. And then we picked up these little step into reading books. I love pink. This is a really cute book. And um, yeah, because she's reading now. So we got to make sure we get some books that she's interested in. So she picked that out. And we also got a Barbie one. Super cute. This all was from Five and Below. I believe these were three twenty-five. I have to check that. And then we have educational books, a word search. And here's what it looks like inside. I love word searches and she always sees me do them and she tries to do mine so I thought I'd get her own. This is another educational book, Reading Readiness. So it has her letters and then her tracing sentences and words. Pretty self-explanatory, standard stuff, good for practice. And then we have a book for money and time. Yeah, so normally the five and below, Dollar Tree, and even Tar do I wanna say Target? Sometimes Target in a dollar spot. You can find like educational books and um, yeah. Addition, word problems. So these are additions to the curriculum that I give her. All of these are just extra things that I add to the um, curriculum. And here's an, a basic addition book. So yeah, for when I'm homeschooling and everything, I do go to the school district and get the same books that they're using for um, the current grade that I'm teaching and um, yeah so to make sure that she or they actually because it's he and she that they um, are on the same level as the children that are being taught so here we have some pens they're scented pens um, we have peppermint lemon orange and lavender and so um, I open them they smell great and um, 
and we have a clipboard for her. Clipboards are good because if we can like move around the house and they'll always have something hard to write on. And then here we have the collapsible crates. We have some um, bento boxes for their lunches. And then we got a dry erase marker from the five and below. All right, now we're just going to do this hack that we saw on online. People are just taking like glue sticks and they're mashing them up in their hands and they're using them to stick their um, teacher posters and things like that. So we're gonna, I, wanted, I was interested in seeing how this worked. It didn't really work that great. I winded up just putting glue stick like rubbing it on the back of the posters as well to keep it but um yeah i mean we're going to be painting down here anyway so if anything kind of gets a little chipped or something i don't really mind but it seems like it's not i kind of pulled it up and it seemed like it was fine but um yeah so we have our um little posters that was in our bulletin kit for birthdays like i said days of the week and um our calendar so i'm just putting that up and here is what it is our welcome sign and then I took the crates put them together because they are collapsible and I put their little school supplies in there and um, then we got their little easels with the blackboard and so when they come in they'll be greeted we're gonna write welcome I'm doing pink for baby girl and we're gonna do blue for and here we go here's what everything looks like before we put the dates up and the next thing to do is we have to hang up the bulletin board. So I got hubby to hang that up for me because I didn't want to damage the walls. And here we go. Look how happy. Yay, hopping right into second grade. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.